Hi, my name is Laura. Today I wanted to talk to you about a friend of mine who left her job as a public high school teacher in California, after five years. She loved helping students realize their vast potential. But it became clear to her that school officials were obsessed with indoctrinating students with left-wing ideology, and that dissenting voices, like hers, were not welcome. Right now, Public education officials are doing their best to convince concerned parents that an ideology that falsely insists America was founded on systemic racism and that our institutions still discriminate against black Americans like me is being taught to children. Well, I'm here to tell you those officials are not being truthful. In the 2020 fall semester, she noticed something strange. Many of her English as a second language students were failing a mandatory ethnic studies course. Since teachers at the school used the same online platform for lesson plans and learning materials, she was able to access the ethnic studies lessons. While she expected to see plenty of America bashing, what she found legitimately shocked her. Just about every single lesson had some element of critical race theory in it. Children were learning about the so-called four eyes of oppression, institutional, internalized, ideological, and interpersonal. The course syllabus said students would use colored strings to rank their different identities to create intersectional rainbows. And the class even included a privilege quiz instructing students to determine how marginalized, or privileged, they were. These aren't just general proposals about things students might learn or supplemental notes for faculty use. These are the lessons the students were actually taught. To be clear, this is nothing short of far-left brainwashing of our young people from start to finish. Left-wing activists in California have not been shy in advocating for discrimination to address supposed institutional racism. We saw this in 2020 with Proposition 16, a ballot initiative that would have allowed state and local government bodies to discriminate based on race in public hiring, contracting, and school admissions. Fortunately, Californians overwhelmingly rejected this racist policy, but progressives have not stopped trying to ram their beliefs down people's throats even if it means indoctrinating children with radical racial propaganda. Parents have a right to know what their children are learning. Thankfully, a parent advocate was able to obtain the ethnic studies curriculum, helping to shine a light on what was really happening in the class, but the words critical race theory had been removed. I took action and wrote a letter to the school board protesting the curriculum. That letter was read aloud at a school board meeting, but by the time the next school meeting rolled around, anti-CRT comments had been banned. When it came to my friend's beliefs, she was in the minority on my campus, and her district is not very kind to people who don't agree with the agenda they're trying to push on students. Let me put it this way, if you're wondering whether CRTical race theory is a good thing for our country, try speaking out against it and see how people treat you. For me, that was when the real racism started. So, she left my job, and with her husband, they moved to Florida. At long last, she feels accepted and is now teaching in a local elementary school. She still cares deeply for the students and families in California and other states who are being held hostage by public school officials in their agenda. The first step in empowering families in California, and across the country, to fight back against the radical teachings of CRT in the classroom is to arm them with knowledge. Not only are public schools force-feeding these lies to students, but they're also keeping parents in the dark. But parents deserve the truth about what their children are learning. That's why it's so important to fix the system by requiring public schools to post a listing of their learning materials online. The Academic Transparency Act, a reform developed by the Goldwater Institute, would do just that, and this common-sense legislation would minimize public education officials' ability to mislead families about what's truly going on in the classroom. Public schools are trying to divide the next generation of Americans based on race. There's a word for that, racism. The real goal is to institute Marxism. Karl Marx originally used class as a means to divide people into groups. Today, the left is using race to accomplish the same goal. Parents, and teachers, who truly care about their students, can fight back. They can demand transparency in what materials are being used and what ideas are being taught in the classroom. To learn more about how students are being indoctrinated, watch some of our other videos concerning what is being taught in our schools. It is up to parents to get active in their school system to bring these issues to light. It is no wonder so many of our young people are turning away from faith and why the current generation has such a high degree of suicide. I hope this video has motivated parents to get more involved in their kids' lives and to take a critical look at what is being taught in their public schools. Nehemiah Reset produces videos each week to talk about issues that are occurring in our culture. Unfortunately, 
The state is taking over control of educating our students. This is exactly what Nazi Germany did before World War II. If we don't turn the direction that our education system has taken, our children will become the next brown shirts used by a U.S. president to help control our society. You can see other videos on the Nehemiah Reset org website or on our rumble.com channel. We hope to see you again in the near future on another of our videos. Have a great day.